In this video, we're overclocking the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X 3D processor all the way up to 5750 megahertz using the Asus ROG Crosshair X870E Hero motherboard and an AIO cooler. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only, so don't just copy my settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this kind of a system, have a look at this Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's get started. When you've entered the BIOS, switch to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Set E-Clock mode to Asynchronous mode. This enables an external clock generator to drive the CPU frequency. Ryzen 9000 has three clock generator modes, internal, external synchronous and external asynchronous. In external asynchronous mode, there are two external 100 MHz clock generators. One is used exclusively for the CPU core frequency. Using a synchronous e-clock is the only way to increase the maximum frequency of a Ryzen 9000 processor as the Precision Boost Overdrive FMAX Boost Override tool only enables up to 200 MHz higher frequency. Set BCLK2 frequency to 105.5. That will increase our Precision Boost algorithm frequencies by 5.5%. In our case, the maximum boost frequency ceiling increases from 5450 MHz to 5750 MHz. Switch to the Advanced menu. Enter the AMD Overclocking submenu. This will provide us with all the advanced AMD CPU overclocking tools. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the AMD Precision Boost Overdrive 2 Toolkit to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 Boosting Algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Advanced. Set PBO Limits to Motherboard. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters PPT, TDC and EDC according to the motherboard auto rules. On this motherboard we find that the following values have changed. Set Precision Boost Overdrive Scalar Control to Manual. That enables us to override the warranted silicon stress level or FIT, which is one of the precision boost limiters governing the maximum allowed voltage. Set precision boost overdrive scaler to 10x. That increases the FIT to 10 times the factory fused value. Now, the maximum voltage when all eight cores are active is 1.37 volt, up 20 millivolt from the default limit of 1.35 volt. Set CPU Boost Clock Override to Enabled Positive. That enables the ability to increase the CPU's programmed if max or maximum frequency up to 200 MHz in steps of 25 MHz. Set Max CPU Boost Clock Override to 200. This increases the if max of the 8 Zen 5 CPU cores from 5250 MHz to 5450 MHz. Enter the Curve Shaper submenu. Here's where the real magic happens, as Curve Shaper allows us to fine-tune multiple regions of the VF curve. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. In our overclock, we use a combination of negative and positive curve shaper values. We use positive values to improve stability at the upper end of our E-clock adjusted VF curve, and we use negative values to aggressively undervolt at the middle and lower end of the E-clock adjusted VF curve. Note that the curve shaper settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than just copying mine. For more details on how you can find the best values, check out the longer Scatterbencher guide on this channel. For all, set low, mid and high temperature to enable. For min, low and medium frequency, set sine to negative and magnitude to 30. 
For high and max frequency, set sine to positive and magnitude to 15. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything is working as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better, and all of our benchmark scores are higher. When running the OCCT CPU SSE stability test, the average CPU core effective clock is 5,396 MHz with 1.206 volts. The average CPU temperature is 89.2 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 166.5 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for the support, and see you next time.